I'm hanging in there. Just ended my second trimester. The second trimester generally goes from week 14 to week, like the end of week 27. So, 27 weeks in a few days today, so I decided I would just make the video while I have time, and um, I'll make a third trimester one also after all that. Realistically, I gave birth to Jackson at 37 weeks. I'm kind of hoping it'll happen again. So, I have like possibly less than 10 weeks left until I meet our baby girl. So that's crazy to me. But we also could have like like 9 to 13 weeks left. So we'll see what happens. So at 27 weeks, baby is the size of an eggplant, which is crazy. Um, my symptoms, I haven't been nauseous or anything. Thank God that went away. Um, it, it has been harder to like get around though. So, uh, I wake up to pee every like hour, no matter what, even if I don't drink, which is crazy to me, but whatever. And I mean, I've gained only like 13 pounds this whole time, and now I'm in the third trimester, almost. So I think I'm doing pretty good. I mean, my doctors have not expressed any concern about that. I've been doing good with the weight. Um, my blood pressure, though, has landed me in the hospital. Last week on Tuesday, I went in for like a routine appointment, a routine just blood pressure check. And my blood pressure was so high, it was a hypertensive crisis, and they sent me straight to labor and delivery, which is crazy to me. I was like, I feel fine. <laughs> like, I have school tonight. I just come from work. That was the last time I had worked because after I went to the hospital, they decided you should not work anymore because you have gestational hypertension. So that is my diagnosis currently. Last time I had the same thing with Jackson. That's why I was induced at 37 weeks. I did have gestational hypertension with Jackson and I had um, protein in my urine which makes for a diagnosis of preeclampsia. Thankfully I was, my water broke a couple days before I was supposed to be induced for Jackson anyway. So, um, I still had to be induced though, since it didn't happen fast enough, but I made it through that one pretty well. Didn't get high blood pressure until the very end of pregnancy though, for Jackson. So now at like 25 weeks, I think, I was diagnosed. That's a little scarier. I gotta make it as far as possible without, I'd probably be induced again if it continues. They put me on blood pressure medication. They let me go home from the hospital, thank God, after a few hours, since the medicine helped my blood pressure go back down to normal. And the next day, well, for the, that was like the week before Easter, so I was out of work until that Monday, and then they were going to reassess. So Monday I went in for my appointment. It was, I have to have weekly appointments now because I'm high risk, like, <sighs> so much. And I have to do weekly non-stress tests. Um, non-stress test is they hook your stomach up. Well, they hook bands around your stomach. One band's for the heartbeat and one tracks the movement. And they give you a little clicker and let you watch TV. So every time the baby kicks, you have to press down on the clicker. Um, it's kind of annoying. I had to do it for like an hour and a half because the baby kept falling off. They usually don't do it till 32 weeks. So, lucky me, I have to have it done every single week. And they just gave me an ultrasound. It was, it was cute. Um, the lady kept giving me 3D pictures, though, of the baby, and that scares me. Like, it's cute and all, but it's scary. If you've never had one, it just looks like kind of a, like a gray matter blob. Like a clay piece of blob that kind of looks like a baby but not really. So, I mean, whatever. But my ultrasound was good. Amniotic fluid and all that is good. Baby's measuring two pounds, which is crazy. She's pretty big already, I guess. I mean, she's the right um, weight and height and everything, but it's just crazy to me. So now I have to have those. Not, I have to have a non-stress test 
ultrasound and a regular appointment with my doctor every single week until I am finished. And at the end it might become twice a week if it gets worse. Which I'm really hoping it doesn't. But yeah, my doctor decided it was better to pull me out of work than have me in and out of hospitals with high blood pressure. So that is where I currently am. I'm still going to school. I only have a week in like a day of classes left. And then I graduate on May 19th. So excited. I don't want to walk the stage, but I'm doing it for you, Mom. So um, so besides all that craziness, it was a pretty, it's been pretty okay. I mean, obviously I would, I'm sad that I'm not making money. But also I have more time with my son, which is amazing. I feel like I've never just calmed down and not been at school and work at the same time to just be a mom. And that's like amazing. Jackson's so happy. When I told him that I was like going to be home with him every day, he smiled so big. It was so cute. So I'm so thankful for that. So also I want to talk about my baby shower. I am having another baby shower. I had one for Jackson. I realize that it might seem ridiculous to have two, but since this baby is with a different father, his family obviously wants to go and he's an only child, so it's a big deal. Um, it's going to be at the end of June, which I think is like the perfect. Hopefully it doesn't rain. I feel like every event I have it rains, but it's garden themed also, which is going to be so cute. I ordered like decorated homemade cookies. For it and my mom's making a cake um, it's going to be really fun I think I'm really excited also the baby's name is Sailor Grace uh, we picked Sailor because we both like the name um, we're spelling it like the traditional S-A-I-L-O-R um, my sister wanted me to name her Sailor with a Y but I don't really like that as much I mean it's, it's not bad but I don't like it as much as a traditional um, I kind of got inspiration from Bristol Palin's daughter, Sa uh, Sailor, and her middle name is Grace. So I'm basically copying Bristol Palin's whole child name, but the Grace part is because of Mason's grandma who passed away, I think a few years ago. Her name was Grace, so it's just like a personal touch. And I don't know, some people hate the name, I, we love the name, so we're gonna keep the name. Um, it's so cute, I don't know. I hope she doesn't hate me for her name. Let's see though. So, oh, I registered on Baby List and um, Target. It is so annoying not being able to have like a Bye Bye Baby close by. The closest one is three hours away in Rochester. Okay, like two and a half hours. But still, that's just not like feasible. And I don't even know anyone. Anyway, I registered at Baby List and Target. It's annoying not having Babies R Us anymore. So where I registered the first time, it was great. They had like a rewards program. I made almost $100 off of the rewards. So that was nice. I spent it on like diapers and stuff. But now I have Target registry um, and baby list, which is just an online thing. And you can like pick any products from any stores and add it, which was so great for me because I want the nursery bedding from Pottery Barn and then there was some other stuff I wanted from like Amazon and it was just easier to like be able to choose from every single different website. Like I have a few things from Etsy so I would totally recommend them. And they'll send you like little cards um, that say so and so is registered at Babylist with like a little um, URL for when you send invitations so I would totally do that. If I were all of you, I would do that. I haven't made paper invitations yet. I'm so horrible, but I made a Facebook event. So yeah, I really need to get on that. Since my baby shower is in like two months, a month and a half. I've done like nothing for it, just planning, just like Pinteresting, you know. But I set the date, so we're all good, I guess. Actually, I think you get 15% off. Um, <coughs> sorry, I'm sick. 15% off. Um, at the end, after your baby shower, to finish your registry, so that's nice too. And Target's everywhere, so people can just go to Target and get what you want, literally anywhere. So, that's great. I'm also 
Mason's family friend is catering some of it. And I'm going to get some stuff catered from Wegmans. It's going to be a fun time. But planning it is so stressful. So, so if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I will put out videos. <coughs> Again, excuse me. Randomly. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how large I am. So this is 28 weeks. I feel huge. Huge, guys. Oh, and I dropped something on myself, but whatever.